Hello animators, this is Morris here with a quick tip for you. I've seen several tutorials on how to do these clean split text reveals and there's several ways to do it, but I'm gonna show you the quick and easy way that I do it. You can be done in just a few minutes, impress your clients, make some money, you know, all that. So let's get started. Let me hit Command A to select all these and delete them all. You'll notice I have uh, title action safe on right here. I'm gonna hit Q to bring up the shape. Make sure you have fill on, stroke off, and we're just gonna kind of draw something right here. It doesn't matter how big because I need to go back over here anyway. We're gonna turn off the uh, constrained proportions. We're gonna make that 25. And we're gonna make this about eh, 300. And then let's go out about 25 frames turn this 25 to a 5 go back to the beginning turn this to a 0 hit F9 to turn on easy ease if you go over here to your graph editor that's what this is and you want to turn on make sure that edit speed graph is turned on and this green is going to represent the speed, the value of the vertical line. So let me just go over here and I'm just going to drag that back. I'm even going to drag this one. Back like that. Okay. That's just kind of animating on, but we're not through yet. So what we need to do is twirl that up. We're going to hit command or control D and now we have two of these. Then we go up here to add, and uh, this is where you can do some animate, some shape animators. We're going to hit merge paths, twirl down on merge paths, and we hit subtract. And if you hit command shift H, you'll notice, and you turn off this uh, graph editor, you'll see that we have a bunch of nothing. Okay, the reason why we have nothing is because we subtracted with that, that merge path simultaneously animating on and animating off and what we need to do is let's go out about 10 frames and now you have this little thing here where it starts and then ends now we hit command or shift t and i am using this font called avenir next and i'm just going to type the word after correctly hopefully and let me drag this down get rid of that shape layer there Hit Command Shift H to see a little bit about what we're doing. Let me go back out here to the middle so we can kind of align this the way we want to align it. And that looks good to me. If we hit Q, we're going to bring up the mask tool. And let's go ahead and draw a rectangle mask around this and end it right there at that line. If you have your text twirled down, you should see an animate button. You fly that out, and you have this text animator called Position, okay? So we're going to go out five frames. Let's get, let that shape kind of start doing its thing. Hit Position. Let's go out about a second. And we're going to um, hit the other, the keyframe again. And now we just need to go back to this first keyframe. And... We just drag this right about here. Okay, this shape layer is animating a little too quickly. Let me move this out about five frames for this second one. And let's get our keyframes looking a little bit better here. We're gonna hit F9. We're gonna do the same as we did earlier. We're going to uh, hit the graph editor. We're gonna pull this back. We're gonna pull that back. Turn off the graph editor. We're going to hit Command or Shift D to uh, duplicate this. Now let's do the other side. We're going to type the word effects. Enter. And in order to get this to move over here, it's a two-step process, pretty easy. You just hit subtract, and there's that missing. Now you hit the letter U, and you got these keyframes. You go over here and you select all these position keyframes. 
and you do go down to keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes and now you just need to kind of move this in place because obviously we've got some issues there let me go back a little bit and same thing with this one here do that and now we just need to kind of kind of go the opposite way with this graph editor something like that let me go back five frames it's all about tweaking these little keyframes when you do these quick animations you want to get them just about right that looks okay to me select all hit the motion blur motion blur fixes everything okay if you want to try a a cool little variation of this you can always hit hit command or control d open it let's go over here we're going to grab both of these and bring them back to the same place they were select them both hit the number 700 grab this bottom drag it back out And then go to this shape layer, hit the letter R for rotation. Let's make that about 20. Let me go here, see where we're revealing. Hit the V, grab this one vertices, hit the shift and drag. Select the vertices, hit shift and drag. And just like that, you can animate it on diagonally. If you want this text to animate off, that's real easy to select these keyframes. Hit Command or Control C. Hit Command or Control V. Same here. Hit Command or Control C. Command or Control V. Select them both. Go over here. Hit Keyframe Assistant. Time Reverse Keyframes. Reverse those keyframes. And let's start over and see what we got. It goes in, goes out. And I see we got a problem here with, I probably just didn't see that. And there we go. Reveal on, reveal off. Wax on, wax off. All right, we're done. Thanks for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment and all that. And have fun animating.